A Quiet Place of Day One. Still produced by John Krasinski. No longer directed I mean, by John Krasinski. I mean, you, you got, he's got to make that money, right? It's because uh, he was doing... Uh, what's that? Um, His wife? Yeah. Psst, who wouldn't? Uh, this movie, I will say, did not need to be in the Quiet Place universe. It could have been any other movie. It could have been in Cloverfield. It could have been any of those. It could have been a standalone Ooh. thing. It didn't need a Quiet Place. Cloverfield. It didn't need a Quiet Place because... It's just an apocalypse movie, right? It's an apocalypse movie with somebody where you get Lupita Nyong'o, who has can- who is terminally ill. She's passed. Mm-hmm. She's in hospice, and then all of this stuff happens, and she meets she she meets and takes care of this a one. Is the uh, not the cat? No, her cat's there with her from the beginning, but she runs Sam. into. I mean Sam. Frodo. Yeah, well, Frodo's the Frodo's the cat. Yeah. Sam, Sam is uh Sam is the Sam is Joseph Quinn from Eddie from Stranger Things. Yeah, which is now being he's in a lot of movies. He's, he's going to be in the, the new Gladiator movie, isn't he's he? In Fantastic Star- Four, he's Johnny Storm. Like he blew up after Stranger Things, and he's been mm-hmm. doing like a lot, right? But good yeah, for this, him. This movie to me, I was like, okay, it's fine. It's a fine movie, right? You're putting it in the Quiet Place universe, but it I, I didn't feel like it needed to be. It didn't. It could. It could have been in any of it. Was it's it's like a movie that cool. Okay, cool. You you have a an apocalypse movie with somebody who's terminally ill. Let's put him in the quiet place. You know, let's make it make it the first day of the quiet place when everything do, starts. Yeah, but no, I I like how um, they show you the day one, so I don't mind it being part of the quiet place. I did want to see how they arrived. I mean, they kind of show you in the in the first one. The first I mean, one. They arrived the like, the like they arrived like the Transformers did in all the other movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> but it's it's nice to see the the what are they called the Death Angels. It's nice to see them in um, in the city, not just like in a farm or like in the yeah. little yeah. rural areas. You know, I'm not looking forward to seeing Death Angels. At the end of the day, this movie was still the same thing as A Quiet Place. A lot of the majority of the movies in, is silence. A majority yeah. of the movies is in silence. There is not a lot of dialogue <laughs> in this. Movie. Oh well, I was watching it. <laughs> uh, all I got, all I got was my, my wife going, "Hey, so what's going on? What's going on? What's, so, hey, so what's, what's what's going on? What's, what he, why why did he do that? Like, wait, why why did?" He, why, and then he started talking to 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 screen about like you know like hey be quiet and then no I I can't I, I didn't get I didn't get a quiet place at all I got frustration and and uh, I think uh, an ulcer. <laughs> well, yeah, it. Uh, but Lupita Nyong'o's in it. Lupita Nyong'o's in it. Jo- okay, so get, you by the way, she looked great with. Uh, even with even terminally even with, ill. Even sick, <laughs> yeah, still looks good. Uh, Joseph Quinn is good. That stage four is good on her. So you, there's that there's the whole storyline at the beginning. She's in hospice. She's being taken care of uh, by Ruben, the nurse. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, which I've seen this guy in other movies. Was he in Hereditary? Was he the one in Hereditary? He was in Pig. He was. But he was. A, he was a son in Hereditary, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah he was cool. in Hereditary. Like um, he's in that movie for like 10 minutes. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. But he was she, in Pig. Wait, I, I've seen that kid in other stuff, too. This was directed by. The guy that directed Pig. Oh, was it? Michael Sardinowski, yeah. I never saw Pig, so. Oh, he's but a dude from Jumanji. Quiet. He's a dude from yeah, Jumanji. Yeah, that's right. He's, he's, a, he's a kid from Jumanji. I knew he looked familiar. Yeah, I just remember. I like. I knew he had done another horror type movie, which is Hereditary. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, he just looks like a like a like another version of DJ Qualls to me. Nah, like, like, nah. No, he doesn't. No, no, like in uh, in Jumanji, he's just kind of. No, like, he doesn't. Yeah, that lame, linky dude. No, he doesn't. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Yeah, it's just, it is just you. Uh, no, but so this movie, yes, from the regular Quiet Place and Quiet Place Part Two, you 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 have like the the world has already been overrun by 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 the by by the aliens, right? Overrun by the aliens, and people have to let you know have moved to rural rural parts of the world. And yes, it takes place in the city. I, I, I will say that I did enjoy the performances, both performances, right? Because you can tell that Joseph Quinn or Sam and Sam and um, Eric, Sam and Eric, is it Eric? Yeah, Sam and Eric, that they they uh, they did connect, right? She didn't want to save him. She didn't want to protect him. She mm-hmm. was already checked out. She's ready to go. She was ready to go. She knew she was. She, she knew, she's terminally ill. So you can tell throughout the movie. She's like, I there's nothing left for me if I leave. There's no yeah. medication. There's no, there's not gonna be any medication for her. She's gonna suffer more. Let me go fighting. At least go yeah, get that man. little slice of pizza. 
let me go my way right let me go my way and then in this journey she's going she meets she she finds eric and she takes care of him to the point like to the point where i'm going to take you to where you're going to be safe so you're going to be safe and then i'll you know i want to live my life the way i want to live it mm -hmm. and i thought that i thought that was that was good but it, i just to me it just felt like oh, did this need to be in a quiet place universe it could have it could have been in, in like in any other could be like an in any other type of story but because I already know where where this ends. I already know with the Quiet Place Part Two how this ends, right? I, I was this was this movie was this movie good? I I enjoyed it. I, th I, I didn't think it was bad. I didn't think it was. I didn't think it was. I didn't think it was as good as the the other two. But I will say Man, the this, first one was good. First one was so I, yeah. good. Second one was good too. The second yeah. one was good. Too. This one was just, just not as good as those two. No, right? definitely not. But, but it's I a mean, good it's, installment. Well, yeah. no, what is, I think I think what what uh, what um what change what makes it different is the setting because that the other one was like in some small little town and the they had a, they had their family but, together already yeah mm -hmm. and this and this one it's in the city and you know it's just filled with noises yeah it just and shows then, uh more about how people can be more caring even in a time of uh, struggle like this yeah yeah because even because even from the from the moment you meet eric eric even says like i don't have anyone my family mm -hmm. is in england and they're not mm -hmm. here I came here for you know. I came here for school or whatever, right? I came here. No, he for... says, "What? My family's in England." Oh, that's what he said. That's what he said. Yeah, he said it quietly. Um, I, I, I came here to smash. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> but no, so he like he literally had no one. So she's my, like, my, my name's good. Colin. <laughs> but he's like I, i'm I'm gonna take he's like, she's like i'm gonna take you in and i'm gonna save you right she mm -hmm. she, took, she took in a stray and she she got him to a safe place That's uh, all she took in, huh? which which this is why i was like okay this this movie is i like the story i like how it goes um and it was well acted i i think lupia nyong'o is real is is, is is a really good actress i think Always. she's good with what you she mean does. you mean oscar nominated but did she win for what 12 years a slave I believe so. Django? No. Django was the other chick. It doesn't was, it know. was it 12 Years a Slave? That's a great movie. 12 Years a uh, Slave? Yeah, I just I just rewatched it again. What? But it it, it it the only thing is that this in in name it felt like in name and just because of the aliens is the only reason it was it was part of the quiet place universe. But yeah, I, I did I did like yeah, I did like that it, it yes, you have all this all this happening, but it did tell that story that People can still be care, like you said, like you, exactly the way you said it. That 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 can that can still happen. There can still be good people uh, during the apocalypse because, like, when people are running, and I liked when they're doing the, when they're. What I did like is the the scene where everyone's starting to walk towards the harbor, and mm. people in wheelchairs, and people people in crutch, people taking luggage, like making all this noise, and like you know you're supposed to be quiet. Everyone's not talking, but every there's noise all around. Uh, I did. I did like that part. It did build. I will say the movie did build tension in parts. There was tension building, and there mm. was there, there was like, will who's gonna make it? Like I didn't know if if they were both not gonna make because I didn't know where the movie was gonna end with. Like because I know where it goes, and you don't you don't see um, you don't see Miss Krasinski, and you don't see Emily Blunt in it at all, right? Mrs. Krasinski. You don't see uh, you don't see her in the movie. You don't see the family. You don't see any of them, right? But so I, I so I don't know where it connects. But you do get Jaiman Hunsu. From the he was from the second one, right? Yeah, he's, he's in the, the second, second one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's in the second quiet place. Uh, but you you eventually you you do see him. That's his connection. That's the that connection man, to all man, of it. That man must be peaceful. Okay. Um, but you 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 do get that connection. Uh, and I do like just the the you know how how it how it how the movie transpires with with uh, where it goes. But it just it is for me. It was. I could have I could have seen this in any other setting, and I and so it didn't feel it didn't feel new to me. It didn't feel like I, yeah it, no. It, it felt it felt like an okay movie. It wasn't horrible, and it wasn't um, it wasn't as good as the first one or as as good as the second one. But it it was fine. It was fine. I I I, I wouldn't watch it again. But it's it's an it's a fine movie for what we got at that time. Yeah, Sarnowski <laughs> did a good job. All I know, and this is what I know. It's bleh. <laughs> oh wow. Nice. Great. It's it's not wisdom. that deep. It's not that the deep. Wisdom drop. No, wisdom. it's it's it really isn't that deep. It's it's um but it, it's good. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I, I have no yeah. 
I it's it's a fine. Not it's great. Movie. It's not. It's not. Uh, it's it's an okay movie. I mean, it's yeah, a good it's, movie. It's it's not great. The, but performance, it's, the performances are there. I can see why they're. You know, I can see why they're giving Joseph Quinn more things, more movies, and more roles. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's um, good. He, he's a, he, he's doing a good job with the things that he's given, the things that he's given, and his parts is the roles that he plays are good. I I felt for like the the time where he's talking about like I have no family, my family is in England, I don't even know, like there's no way for me to get a hold of him. Like you 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 felt like what he was saying, and you also felt Lupita Lupita's character is like she's sick from the beginning. She's like, like if this happens, like if someone's who really terminally ill, they're not gonna care. Like yeah. okay, cool. It's like I I already know where I'm gonna where you know that this is head like my my path is heading to me pass to me I'm terminal to me passing away so let me go out on my terms and that's kind of the way she did it and I liked everyone like in the in the scenes everyone was going this way she's the only one going the opposite she's the only one going the opposite way in a lot of the scenes like people are running one way and she's like no nah, well I'm not going that way so she wants that I'm pizza. Gonna get my pizza I I, I did I did. Like I said, there's parts of the movie that are that are enjoyable. That the performances are good. It's just uh, I think overall, if you compare it to the other two, it's not as strong. But it's a, it's an okay it's an okay movie. It's it it's well, a watch. You're, you're, you're to have that family you're connected to the whole time. So you're yeah. really you're really like you're you're Invested. you're cheering you're cheering for that family. Here, yeah, see, but it's just it's just it's just with so many with so many things going around uh, in the city, and then you know, and then. It just quickly zooms in on these people. You don't mm-hmm. get enough time to to really, you know, really cheer for them. And be like, I hope they survive. I hope they survive. I hope they survive. My, but my problem with prequels, <laughs> my, my problem with prequels after prequels after movies have already been established is if you save anyone from the movie that hasn't shown up in the sequels, it doesn't make sense. But it's a right? different place. So, no, nope. Jaimin Hansu. Jaimin Hansu's in the movie. Yeah, but you know, right? he was so on he the Amistad. Did, so, so what? No, if he shows up, if he sh- if he shows up in this movie, where like where was where's Sam where where's Eric's character? Where is Eric in, in you know in the sequels? Like especially in the sequel where you get you get um he was making Stranger Things, maybe, <laughs> maybe. Uh, the play. Oh, see, that's what we call it up in the England. Silent movie. The silent movie. Uh, no, but because like in the other in the other the other two movies like this in the second one they find that they find that island with all the people, right? Where everyone's living quietly and peacefully, how come Sam wasn't there? That's my only problem when you do prequels to pre- pre-established things and they don't die. People don't die, <laughs> like everyone still lives, because mm-hmm. in, in now you're saying, well, then where were they? If Jaimin Hunsu shows up in another play in the in the other place, well, why wasn't Sam there? That's the one thing that, like, okay, like when we when you when you watch Rogue One, you go to Rogue One and you're not gonna think, oh, well, I'll get to see Jyn Erso again. No. Spoilers, they all die. Okay. Right? They all die. And that, it makes sense within the story. Like you, you we never hear about these people because they, they were killed during this during this mission. And they're led by the crows. Scrolls. That's and that's the only and that's the only that's my only big gripe with prequels like this is that when you let them when you when people survive, where are they? Right, like where, where where is that character uh, in the in the few in the other movies, and then you then you're gonna tell me oh there might be a third Quiet Place movie. Uh now this is he's getting on hand. You've already told me how it ends, so I don't know where I don't know where this would go. That's true. That's why I I, I can't get get a hundred percent around a prequel like this if it's not telling a completely different story like that doesn't connect to anything. They shouldn't have connected Jaimin Hunsu in this movie at all. It should have been a, a standalone section that didn't connect to anyone in in you know in that universe. But like I said, it's not a horrible movie. It's not the greatest movie. It's 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 a good way to end the trilogy. That's well, it. I mean, they end the trilogy. The huh? <laughs> so they end the trilogy with part two. So if you're no, gonna I watch, know, but what I'm saying is that that's it. That's it. That's your trilogy. And yeah, I wouldn't make enough. any. I wouldn't make any more. Yeah. I would. I would not make any more. I think. I think this ends not on the highest note, but it's not a bad movie. It's not like it's killing the franchise. It's not like it's a whole, it's, <clears throat> not like it's bad to watch. It's, it's a, if you watch it, you're not gonna be bored. It's enjoyable. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's, a, it's, enjo- it's an now, enjoyable now, movie. Now, now, let's say for some reason, okay, they decide to make another one. What setting would you put it in? I don't know. Well, I mean, they've established that these these uh, aliens can't swim, so that they drown. 
So I don't know where they would. I don't know where they would go. I, mean, I don't know. I really don't know where they would take us. Because the lake house, I would put it in the lake house. With to Keanu Reeves, <laughs> we'll get it. We'll we'll get into it. The... Like, it writes a letter to Keanu Reeves. Hey, uh, make sure everyone knows that we can't swim. The alien puts it in the <laughs> mailbox. <laughs> puts his wiener in there too. <laughs> I don't think I don't think the mailbox works that way. <laughs> I think it's only letters. But I think it's only letters. Uh, but on, but, on but that... it can't take packages. <laughs> hey, okay, maybe. On that note. This has been Vinny. I'm Zazu. And we'll see you guys next time.